make notes. It was hard for me to get my show together this week. I had to get people who were like retired or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. So, you ready to go? Ready. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm here with Coach Stingelheimer, who is the head coach of the South Dakota State uh, Jackrabbits, and they're going to make a trip east to take on uh, JMU this Saturday afternoon at 430. So, Coach, thanks for joining us last week. I talked to you, you took on New Hampshire, and you guys jumped on New Hampshire really early in the first quarter. So, is that something you guys need to do this week against JMU? Yeah, we'll take that anytime we can get it. But with our defense, I don't think anybody can do that. Uh, we're just going to uh, be patient. And know that, uh, I mean, they have one of the best defenses, but not the best in the nation. So we have to understand that and be patient and take what they give us. Well, they're, they're on a 25 game winning streak. Uh, that's that's unheard of in the uh, subdivision in a very long time. I know a, a team like Florida State had one a couple of years ago, like 29 straight wins in a row. So do you think, uh, what does it take for um, for a team like that to continue winning every, every game? Great defense. You know, I hate to be a. Uh, echo, but uh, they play great defense. They're very athletic. You can tell as you watch games, uh, they, 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 they lose with confidence. Mm-hmm. You know, and not every team is like that. So, uh, some teams take the field and hope they win. Uh, you know, JMU takes the field and knows they're going to win. And so all those things together with, with great athletes, great coaching staff, wins you games. You talk about coming east. Uh, what's the travel plans for you guys to get acclimated to the, uh, the east coast for this weekend? Yeah, we like to practice here, so we're going to practice in the morning and, and uh, bust down to Sioux Falls, fly out. Mm-hmm. We'll be out there, I think, uh, 4.30-something, and then do a quick walkthrough uh, at the stadium. And uh, nothing's, We just want to know where we're going to be at and then uh, go, go to our hotel and get ready to try to play our best football. Mm-hmm. Now, back to the New Hampshire game. What do you guys uh, – well, just talk about New Hampshire. Did you, did you think they're going to be there? I think they're a really good program. I think we were hot. And, and, and they weren't. Uh, it was a cold day, and I know they're used to cold. But when you get down twenty-one nothing in the in, in a quarter after the first quarter, I don't care who you are. Mm-hmm. Even when you're ahead, it's hard to be as motivated when, when those things happen. So I got a lot of respect for their coaching staff and their players. And I talked to a bunch of them at the end of the game. I, I'm certain they'll be back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the weather here on the East Coast has to be a very, little bit warmer today. It's like 32 degrees in your weather, so you probably enjoy this weather here in the in the Mid Atlantic region today. Well, we're gonna we're set to play. You know, we're not giddy about it. We're not uh, we're not starry eyed. We set lofty goals uh, in the fall, and we got a chance to accomplish them now. And to do that, you'd have to play through a team like uh, James Madison. So uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. So you play in the Missouri Valley Conference, right? Correct. Okay, just talk about that conference because a lot of people don't in this neck of the wood don't know that they know about you guys and South Dakota State and North Dakota State and all that stuff. All the other two. Just talk about your conference and why is that conference always there at this time of year? Well, it, uh, you know, I'm being a little arrogant here for our conference. That's not my personality, but mm-hmm. uh, if you look at the segment rankings, if you look at the, the national rankings, both the coaches poll and the stats poll, uh, we will have five to six teams. Uh, ranked in the top 25, we had five make the playoffs this year. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of, uh, well, North Dakota State probably put the put the conference on the map in the biggest way, winning five straight. Uh, you know, prior to last year, it's good football, just like the CAA. It's really good football, good coaches, good athletes. Uh, it's a fun league to be part of. Um, you know, Youngstown has great tradition. Years ago, Northern Iowa has great tradition. Uh, Illinois State, uh, you know, Southern Illinois won a championship years ago, so it's good football. I was looking at something online today. Somebody was talking about they want to move the championship game from Frisco, Texas, to some under warm climate. Do you think it should just stay there for a while? I think there's tradition that in Frisco. I know I've not been there, but mm-hmm. I mean, what do we talk about? We talk. We don't talk. We don't talk about going to the championship game. We talk about going to Frisco. Yeah, that's the that's the the, the term that that uh, lights up your your, your program because you know you're talking about going to the championship game. So, um, I, as far as I know, talking to North Dakota State, uh, Illinois State played them uh, a couple of years ago. They think the venue is good, and they think that Frisco does a great job with them. Yeah. Well, JMU back to the JMU game. They have a running back who was a transfer from Georgia Tech, so they used he's used to running the option or running. You know, he's a good running back. How are you going to stop him on? Saturday. Well, yeah, he's very good. He's powerful. He cut. 
uh, on a dime. And so we we need to fill your gaps. You need to be in your gap. You can't be uh, a a defensive tackle that gets thrown out of your gap because you don't have leverage. And then all of a sudden you got two guys in the same gap. And as simple as that sounds, Mm -hmm. it's not that easy, right? (laughs) Because you're playing one of the best teams in America. They're not the best. And so uh, don't let them out in space. We don't want to be tackling them 10 yards down the field. Uh, he's, he's doing too good for our guys, so we want to tackle him at the line of scrimmage or, or bottle him up at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, Coach, I know you have a lot of practice to do and finals. you got to get your players you know, ready for the game this week. I thank you for taking some time off this afternoon to talk to me, and good luck in practice tonight. And uh, we'll be uh, watching, it, hopefully, that game on Saturday. Hopefully, it will be good weather, and you guys could pull out a win, hopefully. Well, we're looking forward to trying to play our best football. That's all we can ask. But yeah. thanks, for, uh, thanks for talking. Take you care. Have a, have a great day. You also. Awesome. Right,